IALTA, the company dedicated to building knowledge and setting the standards in the technical sector of aviation leasing. Welcome to our free certificate course on the introduction to aircraft technical records. This is video number 7 in our series of 11 videos introducing you to aircraft technical records. The aim of this video is to introduce you to Airworthiness Directive and Service Bulletin technical record reviews at the end of lease. These are commonly known as ADs and SBs. Airworthiness Directives or ADs, are issued when an unsafe condition is found to exist in an aircraft or the engines, or an individual component fitted to either the aircraft or the engines. ADs are a notification to aircraft owners and operators of unsafe conditions and will reference an action required to resolve those conditions. An AD will typically be issued by a National Aviation Authority, or NAA, such as the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, for Boeing aircraft, or European Aviation Safety Agency, YASA, for Airbus aircraft. There will typically be a compliance timeline associated with the AD, depending on the condition it addresses. The operator or owner will have a time limit to implement the AD, measured commonly in one or more of the following, flight hours, flight cycles, or calendar days. The AD will refer the airline or owner to the condition and will not contain a work instruction. It will usually refer to another document, such as a service bulletin or SB, which will contain the work instruction. The Airline Planning and Engineering Department will control airworthiness directives and service bulletins. They will issue the work instruction by means of a task card or engineering order with the relevant information relating to the AD and SB attached. Most airlines will use aircraft maintenance software, such as ReadyFly, to assist with control of this work. Part of your role as the technical records consultant will be to review the AD and SB list from the re-delivery airline. The high-level process involves extracting and becoming familiar with the relevant technical return conditions from the lease agreement. Typical return conditions would be the ADs and SBs are cleared for 6 months and 1,000 flight hours and 1,000 flight cycles. The starting point of the AD and SB review is when you receive the certified status list from the returning airline. Reviewing the technical records to ensure that all documents are present. A major part of an AD review is checking the compliance documentation. It is normal practice to create an AD folder on your computer and build it up to ensure that you have all the necessary documents including the certified DFPs or dirty fingerprints. For each line item on the certified status list for airworthiness directives, we are checking the technical records for the dirty fingerprint of the certifier that performed the task and the date performed. This is very important when reviewing ADs. Any issues or missing records are captured on the open item list, or OIL, and communicated with all stakeholders. Make sure to check out our technical lease training program to gain more comprehensive training on AD and SB reviews. Next, we will discuss service bulletins, commonly referred to as SBs. SBs are airworthiness documents that originate from the Original Equipment Manufacturer, or OEM. The purpose of the service bulletin document is to be a work instruction. The instruction may be anything from an inspection right through to a change of parts or the actual component design. The implementation of a service bulletin 
will result in improving reliability and safety by reducing the identified risk or by changing a configuration, for example, the thrust rating for an engine. The SB addresses any issue found to affect airworthiness and is enforced by an AD, or Airworthiness Directive. A major part of an SB review is checking compliance documentation. It is normal practice to create an SB folder on your computer and build it up to ensure that you have all the necessary documents, including the certified DFPs, in the same manner as you would with the ADs, as we mentioned earlier. Again, a reminder that we discuss SB reviews in a lot more detail in our full technical lease training program. Congratulations on completing the video on airworthiness directives and service bulletins. The next video in our series is number eight and is an introduction to the technical records associated with the components installed on an aircraft. Have you registered for the course on our website? You will need to do this in order to complete the multiple choice questions associated with each video to achieve your certificate.